Hey yo, people, you're watching the Amateur Pretzel, and um, I've made some mistakes. Yeah, that's right. So you might notice I'm at level 56, and the last time I had a drastic change in levels at the beginning of an episode, I was at zero. In that case, I hadn't lost any levels, I had just spent them all on enchantments and stuff. It, that's, that's not the case this time. This time I, I made a big mistake, and these levels are really new, as are uh, this sword and this pickaxe and all the armor that I'm wearing right now. That's, that's all new. Yeah. I'll show you what happened. Well, I can't because I wasn't recording because, you know, I was just grinding off camera. It was because I thought I'd be clever. And turns out I'm not that clever. So basically I'd been doing a bunch of stuff off camera, like uh, just, just grindy stuff, I thought. You know, mining for iron and coal, doing the villager breeding stuff, which turned out to be not so much of a grind. All I did was throw a couple stacks of potatoes at them and then they just filled up all of the beds. Oh, but yeah, new armor. So I had to redo all these enchantments which I mostly did uh, with fishing and enchanting table. They've all got mending on them again, um, except for the sword, of course. Stella's great. I like Stella. Uh, but there was thing I wanted from Stella that she didn't give me. Oh, here we are. Here we are, right here. You see these, these four blocks of obsidian? That's where I got the obsidian for the enchanting table from when I made that. At the time, there was a big flow of water right here, just covering it. But I moved some water to move villagers, I think, or something like that, and then it was exposed. And I thought, look at this four wide space. That would be great for a cobble generator because I'd been really low on cobble because I haven't spent a lot of time uh, digging through cobble stuff. So I made the cobble generator, skyblock style, and I was just, uh, I was just chilling here, you know, oh I see, you can see the spot right there. There used to be obsidian there, and now there's not. Can you guess what happened yet? <laughs> oh, so I was, I was mining this block, just like doing that, and I, I was getting kind of bored, and when I get kind of bored doing menial things like this, I try to find the perfect way to do it. Like when I'm fishing, I try to line up my crosshair exactly in one spot so it lines up really well. And then I just like take my hand off the mouse and use my mouse pad on my laptop to do it so that the crosshair stays there. And right here, what I had tried to do was I had tried to like mine the block and then stand right on the edge and um, I fell in and then cobble generated in my head and started suffocating me I got really scared okay I recovered a lot of my stuff an impressive amount of my stuff but that's not what happened I, I dug tried to dig the cobble out I ended up digging that obsidian block beneath it which is, is not the way this is supposed to work. Um, and then I just got stuck under the lava, and when I tried to get out, it was too late. I was dead. I exploded, and then I respawned up there, and I had to walk all the way back down here and collect my stuff, which thankfully was most of it. And also thankfully, I had a bunch of diamonds stored away right here, but uh, so that I could remake all of this diamond armor. What happened to my... Hold on. Hold, hold on. There used to be an armor stand here with my diamond boots on it. Okay, I hope that's a glitch and that it'll come back because when I was remaking my diamond armor I was really excited to see that I still had those diamond boots there. Um, is this a bug? I'm hope uh, it's probably a bug, right? It's probably a bug, bug rock. 
bedrock with the bugs. I hope those boots didn't just disappear of their own accord. That would be rude. That would be very rude. So I'll take a look around, see if I left them somewhere. Probably not though, because I don't think I would have done that. All right, but yeah, fun story, fun story. I'm gonna have to go mining again so that I'm able to replenish my stuff should something like that ever happen again. Oh, I, I jiggered, jiggered? Is that a word? I messed with this a little bit. The chests are gone. The, the mine, the mine cart chests are also gone. Where are, okay. This has to be a bug. I'm going to relog. <sighs> okay, the mine carts are not back. This is reminding me of the bug that is in bedrock and probably still in bedrock where m mobs despawn randomly without any reason. But these, these are also entities, but they're not mobs. So why the, the mine carts are entities, the armor stand is an entity, but why those, those aren't mobs, they, they shouldn't count. Um, oh, yes, as, as you can see, I widened this tunnel because I wanted to run and jump and stuff, and I made this thing. This is, um, my sugarcane farm. Yeah. But if... Oh, it sounds like the minecart down here is fine. Yes! Okay, that's good. Oh, nice! This right here is the lever that turns the zombie spawner on and off, and I'll show you. So basically... Oh no, the minecart is gone from here too! Okay, so basically the zombies, they, fall, they, they land on this, this magma block, and if I want... Uh, that's so that they die if I'm not paying attention. But I can also, like, swing at them with my sword, or even better, my smite axe. And then, that, that's all the drops I've gotten so far, which is why I have carrots in the first place, because the zombies have given me carrots, which is very nice of them. Um, but there was a hopper minecart in this block, and now it has disappeared, and I am sad, because... This took so long to figure out how to do. <laughs> and as you can see, let's close this door right here in case there are children. But uh, it looks like there are no children. Alright, um, let me think. Let me see, let me see. Okay, so this is Hank. Hank, uh, yeah, I, I unlocked him a lot. And what I really like about that is that he buys one tripwire hook for an emerald. And... I don't have a lot of use for tripwire hooks, and they come up in fishing. So, those are e easy emeralds right there. This is not Stella. This is, uh, her daughter, apparently. Um, and so are these three. Where is Stella? <sighs> what, what kind of day is this right now? Where is Stella? Where is your mother? Stop messing with the door. Oh no. I've lost Stella. Okay. Okay. I, I'm not okay with this. I, I'm not okay with this. This, this, this is not okay. I mean, I would expect if any of them would despawn, they would all despawn, and then I would have to go and do more work. And somehow, I would be more okay with that than I am right now that specifically Stella is gone. Maybe she's invisible. I don't know. Maybe there's some kind of bug going on there. <sighs> okay. But... Actually, yeah, that, that must be the case, because this guy, 
isn't linked to the lectern, which is because I've got I've got one, two, three, four. There's five job sites here and five villagers. And Stella must still exist because this one is linked to her and this guy won't get a job. Which is okay right now. It's okay. You can think about it for a while, all right? I, I think I have something in mind for you, but it'll be a while before I get that for you. Um, okay, so that, that unemployed guy right there, he gives me hope that Stella is around somewhere. I mean, I know she couldn't have gone out. Hmm. I think I want this covered, actually. Oh, but not that torch. Does torch melt? I don't think it melts. Oh yeah, yeah. That's better. Okay. I thought the black stripe was tasteful, but it was not. This is a lot better. Oh, okay. But the reason I want a librarian is not exactly for the enchanted books. See, what I really want from a librarian is glass, and that's why I was trying to level up Stella so much. And I actually did manage to get her to master, and she didn't give me glass. Apparently it's a journeyman trade. Um, but, uh, what do you have for me? Unbreaking 2! You know, that is... I will take that! You know, I will take that. Hold on. Um, I don't have any books on me, but I do have tripwire hooks. Hey, Hank, you want some tripwire hooks? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, thanks, Hank. Stop. You. You, right here. Stop opening the doors. Still no armor stand. Oh, yeah. And there's the mending book that was supposed to go on my sword. Huh. Oh. You know, at least I got all those books before she disappeared. Someday, Stella will come back. We will have such fun, trading books and paper. Cause we love that. Oh, I don't have enough emeralds. Um, that's okay. Here, let me, let me grab just, just one to lock it in. It's, you know, it's, hmm, should I re-roll it? Should I try again? Should I try? Should I try it? Oh, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <sighs> There's an Enderman out there and I was staring out there. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think, um, there's an Enderman out there. You know what? No, no. You can, you can have it, okay? You can have it. Now, I will show you why I've put the villagers so close to the zombie spawner. And it might not be what you think. In fact, unless you play Bedrock and are familiar with the way zombie spawners on Bedrock work, you will not understand until I show you. All right, we'll turn the spawner on, pull out my X, and just start whacking. There we go, this is what we're looking for right here. That there was a zombie villager's ankles that you saw. Whoops, I opened the chat by accident. Zombie villagers can come from zombie spawners, but only in bedrock edition. Now let's see if it had an effect, because when zombie villagers die near villagers with jobs, ah, they're asleep. Let's make them not asleep. You see that? You see that? I have not done anything with this guy at all, and he is giving me discounts. 
They're not incredible discounts. Uh, what are the hearts? What are the hearts? Oh, <gasps> Stella! Stella! You're back! Hold on! No, that's not Stella. Wait! I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm confused. Is Stella not coming back? That's not allowed. No, no, no. Stella's not coming. What? No, you cannot open those doors. Not allowed. No, not. I'm not fighting with you. Okay, so. It looks like Stella is really and truly gone. Um. They just made a cat. What in the world? Hold on. They made a cat! You want to let the cat in, huh? Okay. Okay. But, um, aside from that, these guys, even, even, uh, Hank's, Hank's not impressed by the villager. Um, and it looks like... Yeah, he's, he's given me a bit of a discount. And... He's giving me discounts. They're not huge discounts because it was only one zombie villager, but if I sat there for long enough... <sighs> you guys... you guys can't have doors, can you? I should remodel this so that you cannot reach the doors. That is what I should do. That is what I will do right now. Now, none of you are allowed to open that door, okay? And none of you can, because only I can open that. You? You want to let the cat in. Okay. Yeah, I'll buy a bookshelf from you. You don't get this yet. You're not old enough. Okay. I'm upset that Stella's gone, but uh, now you get to see the villager set up. So I set this room up, and then... No, no, not right now. Oh, you... Eventually, I will want stuff from you, but, uh... Ah! You want pumpkins, do ya? Um, hold on. <gasps> and you'll give me apples! <gasps> I like you. Hold on, hold on. No, I will buy all the bread you have! <laughs> Thank you so much for the bread. Do not take my emeralds. Thank you. Apples. Apples. I can buy apples. <laughs> I don't have to I don't have to farm oak leaves for them. That is incredible. You right you sir are an incredible person. You're awesome. Um I don't have a compliment for you yet because I do not yet have a use for you, but don't worry, I will find one eventually, I think, maybe, probably, I don't know, goodbye. <sighs> and I also had a thought, this video is coming out right after Valentine's Day, and um, Hank in there just lost his sweetheart before they could even have a Valentine's Day together. Look, there he is over there. So, next time, I'm going to come over here and make a room for Hank. I've got some wall options. I think this is what I'm going to go for. But yeah, we're going to make a room for Hank to be in and try some interior decorating. But until then, I have been the Amateur Pretzel. Thank you for watching and stay hydrated. Bye. Oh, an Enderman littered on my floor.